Now, um, you know, Wilson Tucker from the Daylight Saving Party, he will sit in this term of office as a member of the Legislative Council. Uh, but he was less than pleased, of course, about the changes because it will, you know, effectively end his career at the uh, at the next election. And this is what he said. He certainly writes with a certain amount of dash. Mark McGowan's trying to turn Western Australia into a city-state, not unlike ancient Rome, where the outlying regions enjoy very little political representation and pay tribute in the form of mining royalties. The Premier is also trying to make this report about me and about smaller political parties centred around issues like secession, fluoride and daylight saving. The reality is that neither me nor any small political party has done anything to jeopardise the state of democracy in Western Australia. Labor is the mob who's ruled by decree by making controversial political appointments and adopting an urgent bills process for the upper house. Labor will tell you we need a system of one vote, one value. The reality is we already have one. It's called the lower house or the legislative assembly. The legislative council isn't meant to act as a people's house. It's meant as a house of review and to represent the interests of the regions. Might take issue with you. I think it came to represent the interests of the regions. I do not know that it was set up to represent the interest of the regions. Uh, Max says, is everyone happy with one vote, one value? Are they also happy for that to be applied federally? WA, he says, would be far worse off. By the by, tomorrow, Nadia will have Anthony Green on the program to give his take on these proposed electoral changes and what they'll mean for WA politics. Uh, it, it will be, I think, less good news for the Conservative parties that have completely dominated the Legislative Council for most of the history of this place. You may not like the decisions, but would you be surprised that a government that now has the power in the upper house to make these changes is not going to take advantage of that opportunity? Have a yarn to me after five.